Hello everybody and welcome back to brand new daddy or dead overflow video. My name is dead overflow and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about a security vulnerability which I found on a router. Now of course I cannot show you that yet because it's still not patched but I was awarded even before it was patched with a significant amount of money but we're going to get into that. Before we get started if you're new here please make sure to subscribe. We're trying to hit 50k now so let's get to 50k and then we can try to maybe go for 100k. But please subscribe 50k is very close and this is the official 200th video check out my android api hacking course which allows you and teaches you a lot about android api hacking which allows you to obviously intercept traffic from android apps even with ssl pinning enabled so that's good also check out my bug bounty course as well as my game hacking course which both give you a free avano subscription forever as well as a example cheat so check them both out links are in the description now let's go with the video okay so what am i talking about this is a demo and it will be low hosted on their local host but this is actually the real vulnerability which i found and hopefully i will actually make a real video about it as soon as i can now this is a second vulnerability i found on this router and a second vulnerability in total which actually was the same issue so it kind of begs the question was this actually maybe a plugin that was vulnerable but anyways i'm not really going to be bothering myself with that because this involves a lot of black box guessing and as I don't really have the source code of it, but I would love to. So if this company is watching, please give me source code. I don't know. So the point of this vulnerability is that you can actually update your SSID. And the max is obviously 32 characters, but that's besides the point. Uh, what can you do right now? Well, obviously, you can say test, update that, and, you know, SSID will be now test. And your network will reset, and everybody has to reconnect test again. So that's kind of simple. And this would be a, you know, kind of like a local website that you can log into. And that's it. So let me refresh the page so that the local, so that this actually becomes visible. Now, one of the things that I immediately noticed is I was looking at the, you know, source code and I was kind of scanning for maybe where test can be. So what I do is usually is I just call control F and type my payload. And I was actually seeing that it was only mentioned once in a JavaScript variable. And I was like, okay, perfect. XSS. Let's figure it out. But it was definitely harder than I thought it would be because uh, if I tried to do this and, you know, maybe test, maybe like go test and then that and maybe escape it and trigger an error, um, uh, it would say that this is saved and it will use this symbol, which is OK. But if I go to network and I go to update SSID, which is what actually it responded with, uh, as you can see, my single quote was tripped. So that is a problem. OK, I was like, OK, maybe if I do this, maybe, you know, it will work. Maybe something would break. I clicked on save SSID, I went back here, went to the variable, and I saw that, of course, tets or whatever I entered was just present and no this backslash symbol. Okay, so now I really became agitated because I didn't, I didn't know what could happen here. So I don't know, I, what, what, what am I talking about? Anyways, so what I wanted to do is maybe this, maybe that will work. So I put that and test and maybe tested that as well and of course that didn't work but you know the response was quite interesting so i was like okay none of that but now i wanted to see what i can i do so what i usually do is i just type test one two three four and i type every single character everything including that and everything and even quote how do you actually type that on i actually know it quote and i literally did everything and i click save ssid and if I go back here, you can literally search for test one, two, three, four, and you can see it here being displayed. And also you can see it in the, within the JavaScript variable. So these symbols are allowed. That's actually interesting. We can see that these symbols are also allowed, but since we don't have any HTML injection, like it's not nowhere injected into the HTML elements, we can do much. And this was just treated as a, you know, string, not, not actually getting passed as a quote or something like that. So I was stuck. I was definitely stuck, but then I had a brilliant idea of actual how HTML parsing works. See, HTML is a very interesting, not even actually programming language, but it can definitely be broken in so many ways because HTML is treated first. And how browsers see that is they firstly scan for HTML, then, you know, they style it and then JavaScript is kind of loaded at the end. And this can be a problem. See, if you open a script, 
And as you can see, I can inject these. I was like, okay, what if I just enter, enter something silly, like closing script tag, because I was able to inject these within a variable. So I, you know what, let's close a script tag. Let's click save SSID. And if we take a look, you can see that this works, but this these symbols are then, you know, bypassed. And th that is going to be definitely a problem. But with some miracle, I'm not going to say exactly which miracle, uh, you can actually still inject these. And as you can see, we get an error. But there's some preparations you have to do before, but I cannot show that. And as you can see, it says only valid on unexpected token. And where is it actually? It's right here. Because it, for some reason, just breaks here. But that's not true, because if we take a look at here, you can see that this is being parsed as a part of HTML. Cool. So now that you understand how that works, it's being parsed as HTML. It's super easy, super fun. So what can we do now? We can definitely do a script, closing script. So close the script. So it's just a script. Go with maybe alert one. But before we call the alert one, we have to open a new script tag, which is right here. So open a new script tag, close the other one, and just comment everything after the alert one. And if you click save SSID, you see alert one pops up. There you go. That is one of one crazy vulnerability which we have found. We actually have to close and open and do all of these things. But in the end, it was working. And if you saw my previous video, how I actually bypassed this 32 character limit on the SSID, then you probably know why this would be dangerous and why this was awarded by the company. So I cannot actually show you the actual thing because then it will be illegal and I would violate the safe disclosure policies. But as of now, I can definitely show you what the vulnerability is. And maybe you will actually learn something from today's video on how to hunt yourself and how to maybe sometimes if you think there is no XSS, just test for this closing script and opening a new one within a variable you definitely maybe saw a variable somewhere and you just didn't know how to exploit it and this all be this all before kind of becomes invalid js but this after everything just you know is valid quite still and also given the fact that the single the double quotes are enabled this just improves the attack and we can definitely do much more stuff but if you saw my last video you would have known Thank you so much for watching this little video. Make sure to subscribe. You know, we're trying to hit 50K. Just make sure to subscribe. Get my Android, Android course because after the 21st, it's going to get expensive. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe. Stay safe. Stay responsible. And as always, peace.